welcome to the World Cup Project. My name is Carrie. This is all about being vegan and low FODMAP. Last week I made a recipe video for sourdough bread, which is low FODMAP because it has this really long fermentation process. So then this week I wanted to give you a couple recipes for sandwich fillings that you can use in that bread. So these sandwich fillings are great because you can cook them, not cook them, prepare them in bulk and then it's really easy just to throw together your sandwich for the day if you have a packed lunch um, and then there's not much like prepping to do. I'll show you the videos of the recipes now and I just have to apologise because I've been really sick this week so I haven't baked and I had to use kind of normal wheat bread for the videos just to show you. Um, but I know they taste good with sourdough bread because that's how I tested them but I, yeah, I ate it and didn't bake again. So the first recipe is a kind of vegan take on tuna and mayo, so I'm using chickpeas. So first I've chopped the dark green section of spring onions and I'm taking one quarter of a cup of thoroughly rinsed canned chickpeas and I'm just going to mash those with the back of a fork. And then I'm going to put in those spring onion greens and a good dollop of vegan A's, which is low FODMAP and better than normal mayonnaise to be honest, and obviously cruelty free. So I'm just going to mix that all together and you can add in as much mayo as you like. And then a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. And leaving that all nice and mixed, I'm going to get some bread. I'm just going to spread out most of it on one side. I'm just going to add in some sliced tomatoes and some spice, sliced cucumber, not spice, um, just to add a little extra crunch and obviously more nutrition, more nutrition to the recipe. And then with that leftover bit of chickpea mayonnaise, I'm going to spread it on the bare slice of bread. Just, it's a nice alternative to using butter and I think it adds a little bit more of a kind of heartiness to the sandwich if it's spread on both sides. And there you go. A very simple chickpea mayo sandwich that's low FODMAP and vegan. The second recipe is a sort of butter bean tzatziki. I'm not sure what to call it. So I've taken 35 grams of butter bean that's canned and I've rinsed it and I've chopped it up there. And I'm adding in some chopped tomato and chopped cucumber. And then I'm adding in some coconut yogurt. Or you could use another low FODMAP vegan yogurt such as soy made from soy protein isolate or almond. I'd probably put a bit less um, yogurt in in hindsight, but I'm adding in some lemon juice there. You can add a little bit of chopped or torn up parsley. And then a little bit of pepper. So I'm also going to add in a tiny touch of garlic oil, which you could leave out. And a dash of nutritional yeast with some B12, just to make it a little bit more savoury. So in a little bowl or espresso cup, I'm adding half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a little bit of ground cumin and some ground coriander. And then I'm going to mix this with some garlic olive oil. Or you could just use plain olive oil if you prefer. And this is really gonna jazz up the sandwich. So I'm going to use that spicy oil mix instead of butter, spreading it on both slices and then adding in the very fresh yogurty and bean mix and then adding in some extra iceberg lettuce just so there's a bit more crunch and there you go another really simple and quick to assemble sandwich once you've prepped everything I think this would also be a really nice filling to put in a wrap so if you could get for example some corn wraps instead of sourdough bread it could be a very nice packed lunch to have So I'd love to know if you give those a go and actually I'd be really interested kind of on the topic of prepping because at the moment I'm preparing uh, prepping the next bundle for your World Cup project which is all about being prepared, getting really organised and making everything in advance if you can. How much do you like to have prepared in advance? So sometimes you see videos on YouTube, like YouTube and Instagram where someone has like their breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks laid out for the whole like five day working week which personally I wouldn't enjoy at all but I'd be interested to know what kind of meals you like to have ready in advance 
I guess it's different for everyone. I don't know. What's your ideal level of prepping for the week ahead? That's my question. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, let me know also what your favourite sandwich fillings are that are obviously vegan and low format. Um, and otherwise, I make YouTube videos every Sunday evening about this topic. And if you'd like more, please subscribe. And I'll see you then. Bye.